I'm a Ali Hazelwood stan. Obsessed. Hi besties. What huh? the hell is even that? Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited for this one because we are doing a makeup look inspired by one of my favorite books. Yeah, one of my favorite books because guess what? I'm a Ali Hazelwood stan. These two right here. Obsessed. Let me not talk too much. Let's get straight into the makeup look because that's what you guys are here for. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get straight into this video. So, so okay. the idea for this look to basically have one side werewolf and one side vampire. Because if you guys have read Bride, don't worry, I'm not gonna spoil it. This is a spoiler-free video. But if you guys have read Bride, it's basically based around vampires and werewolves. We're gonna do this side the werewolf and this side the vampire. So I'm going in with my Revolution Concealer. Honestly, a vampire and werewolf makeup is so similar. We're gonna use a MAC foundation, but I'm gonna use a very light concealer because it's a vampire. We have to look a little bit pale. What do you mean by that? We're gonna make a way. So I'm just gonna use this foundation that's a little bit too bright for me anyway. The book is basically about misery and- He's just a man, Lorelai. What's his name? Low. Misery is the female protagonist. B-I-T-G-I-R-L. You know I- And Low is the male one. <laughs> that name is just- basically a vampire. It's basically gonna tell you everything that's on the back so you guys can't say, oh, you spoiled it. You know, a little bit of concealer now. The world that we're in, vampires and werewolves do not get along, especially with humans and with each other as well. The agreement, they don't trust each other. Humans actually know vampires and werewolves exist in this world, which is, I think is pretty cool. So to have a truce with the human and the, one of the children from the vampire world into the human world and one of the humans from the human world into the vampire world volunteer! i volunteer as tribute and that's how they do their trade to ensure like both of them you know behave because they've got one child from each side these are just not any children these are like the the people in power's children or a bit more vulnerable each side to not do anything personally if someone's always to give up my child so vampires could have them i'm not doing that I'd rather give up myself, but I guess I see why they do it because it's like leverage, blah blah blah, whatever. We're gonna do the vampire huh? English. We're gonna do the vampire side first. So I'm going in with the curve case. And we're just gonna create loads of shadows on the inner corners, kind of to give me that look. Kind of focuses on Misery's story because I think it's told in her POV only. Is it dual POV? Hold on. I think it's just her POV. So, this is love. Mm -hmm. so on this side, I'm just gonna go in with a beauty blender. And it's a lot more rough, like it's more focused down here and here. I'm going in with a bit of white. Oh, this brush has green on it. I'm doing a 30 day makeup challenge on TikTok and on shorts. So if you wanna see those, check them out. But basically, I've been doing looks pretty much every day this spooky season, so if you don't want to miss out, go on my shorts page. I'll be doing a long version of the video the Sunday before Halloween. Just adding a bit of colour. Oh, this is still green. Let me just wipe this down and not use this brush. Now I'm going in with some white powder on both sides because we're trying to look as gone. I don't want to say D-E-A-D, -E but gone as possible. Yeah, Misery's kind of sent off to do that. Then she's also... When she grows up a little bit more, she sacrificed again. Another one. So with the werewolves, because they need to, you know, have like a peace treaty. She goes to be Mari the Alpha, which is insane. I honestly love this storyline because it's giving a little bit of like enemies to, well, maybe to lovers. It's just a really, really good storyline. Like it hooked me straight away. I'm not going to lie. Ali Hazelwood is so good at hooking me in. Two seconds into the book. I read the first chapter. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Always. Oh, so on this side, I'm gonna focus more on like darker tones. We're not gonna add any blush, nothing like that. So I'm just gonna go in with the brown. But like you can already tell the difference kind of with this side because I look more like. <laughs> and on this side, I look more like. Girl. I don't know how to explain, but anyway. Basically, everyone's looking at her like, why would you choose to do this? Because the vampires and werewolves do not get along at all. But little do they know, Misery has her own reasons for why she's doing what she's doing. I'm just gonna leave it there because the book is just so good. Like, complete vibes of the book are immaculate. I don't know what Ali Hazel puts in her box, but it's just so, so good. 
No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. I'm going in with red under eyes to make them a little more dead, and that's what a vampire is, really. <laughs> this book gave me like heavily Twilight vibes. If Bella was like not just a human and she was like a vampire herself, which I think that would have made the Twilight a lot better. I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna slander Twilight because I love Twilight, but you might go for like this peachy pink colour for under my eyes. If I had purple contact guys, it would be over. Like I need one purple one, one gold, maybe like goldy one, and it would be perfect for but I do not, so we just have to make do. Misery's eyes are purple and I think Lowe's eyes are yellow, if my memory serves me correctly. I read this like in August. I think I read it in June actually. I don't remember when it came out. Literally as soon as it came out, I was like, Ali? Do fantasy. I actually go in with a purple highlight because her eyes are purple. I want to bring that element of purple to her side. Okay, guys, I've added the veining under the eye, and I'm just gonna go in with a bit more of that sparkly purple on the eyelid right here. So now we're onto the werewolf side. This is the vampire side so far. This side we're gonna be a bit more heavy-handed. We're going in and a bit more black. <laughs> Low is described to be very like chiselled and very, you know, because. He is a werewolf, but you know what I mean. And on the eyebrows, I'm gonna make it a lot more rugged. Like, I kind of like those eyebrows a lot. I love the nose contour. I'm not trying to create like a shade. I'm kind of just trying to create a bigger-ish nose, you know? I don't know. And then I'm gonna carry it down kind of on this side. It's starting to look quite good. The thing I liked about this book the most, I was really good at creating a found family. I think Ali does that really well. She makes you fall in love with every single character. Now I'm going in and creating a shadow-like effect. Gonna blend this out really quickly. I always blend with a lighter colour. If I'm remembering correctly, Lowe's eyes were like goldenish, so I'm gonna go in with a golden highlight on the eye, right? Represent his eyes. That we have a cute little just to position just to pivot juxtaposition. You know the word. For her eyes to gold for his eyes. If her his eyes are not golden, I'm gonna be so mad. I've just added detail under my eyes, which I just added a line. And you guys remember the trick I taught you with the other pencil, you just dip it in. I'm just creating texture under the eye. Now we're onto the fun part. I <laughs> like lines, like gashes or scars through my eyes. I'm gonna go all the way through the eyebrow. Okay, so this is drying. But yeah, I also like how it's kind of like stuck my eye together. Whilst it's a little bit tacky now, and just create rips in the latex. Guys, whilst I wait for that to dry clear, I'm just gonna go through line for my like ripping apart effect. I'm just gonna do it straight. For right now so i can see where i want it to be i've created the line i don't know if this is my best work but i'm enjoying the process i'm gonna go in again because you could leave it at here if you wanted to just have a line but i want to create that like ripping effect so i'm basically gonna go in with my liquid latex again i'm just gonna cover the line in liquid latex and whilst it's tacky i'm just gonna go in and try and remove before i go in with the fake blood i'm actually gonna go in and create a shadow like white or like close to white and just go on the opposite end okay now it's time for lips which is one of my favorite parts for the werewolf side i'm actually gonna go in and create like an over arch and just fill it in like normal i'm gonna go in with a light pink at the bottom for misery's side i'm gonna go in the center parts of her lips honestly i've had to use the full amount of my brain today to create this look so <laughs> i hope it turns out okay and now we're going on to creating my ears and violet has like who oh! pointy ears like an elf which i think is like the cutest. I'm going in and just creating a elf like ear shape with this foam I got that you put under like your tables and stuff. I use this for my 30 day makeup challenge. It worked out so well. I think it was an ogre. I'm just gonna color this in with a bit of foundation. It's from afar it looks okay because no one's looking that closely. Finally we're on to my favorite part which is the fake blood. I literally get this from Asda. A little sponge that I actually learned through a course that I'm doing. Go in it on top oh guys i missed a step i was supposed to go in with eyeshadow over these <sighs> bloody color this one and already that looks miles better besties i'm now gonna put the ears on with lashes and my hair and i'll be back to show you guys the end result <laughs> this is the finished look again i went in and added the ears and the lashes this little fang here is a key part of the book right here i don't know if you can see it it's actually hard to tell with this let me just take it out it's literally just a nail this is the end look this side is supposed to be 
the werewolf i don't know if it's giving that vibes i think the only thing that indicates it's a werewolf is probably scars i don't know but on this side i went in and put white streaks to show you know misery's white hair because she's supposed to have like blondishy white hair i don't know went with the purple wig because misery has purple eyes but i didn't have the purple eyes so i went in and added my own little touches personally i don't know how to feel let me know how you guys think in the comments i honestly don't know how i feel about it i never know if i like looks when i do them i always like look afterwards and i'm like oh, i love it but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below comment what book i should do next should i do another ali hazelwood should i do the love hypothesis i would love to do that let me know down below in the comments and i'll definitely listen to you guys because i love you guys i will see you guys next week at 6 30 for a new video i love you all so 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 much besties and i'll see you next sunday bye